What's going on everybody? We're back with Vampire Survivors and we have a new unlock we need to get. And let me show you it real quick so you can see it. We need to find the magic banger. And supposedly it's in the green acres. Um one thing we also haven't done is gotten Yanaro or whatever the fuck his name is to level 50, so we might as well nag him. And head into Green Acres. Let's go... Hyper mode? Ah, so... The enemies get more health when we do this. Let's just go regular for now. Hmm, anything that will combine... Okay. Man, critical hits or extra hits? Let's go extra hits. Okay, so you can see on the map there where we gotta go to get the uh, relic. Let's see what else is on the map. Wow, literally found it in two seconds. Fifteen seconds, I guess. Well, I guess we're going to have a pretty chill run from here on out. Let's pick the magic wand. I think with that and the knife, we could have a really nice constant stream of uh, just firepower at all times. But yeah, man, how you guys doing? It's 12.32 in Costa Rica right now. 12.32 in the morning. And I have to be up at uh, 4.50 in the morning. It's gonna fucking suck ass. I gotta take care of some business. And then after that, I might take a nap or something. I was talking about this. I'm playing uh, Need for Speed of Heat right now. We're trying to do a hard mode run only using, you know, street cars that... No luxury cars, like a no no supercars, like a Ferrari or whatever. So just make it a little more fun and challenging, a little interesting. I feel like everyone in that game just gets the um, RSR, and and you know the game's broken. And we're not allowed to do that. That's been a pretty fun playthrough. On top of that, you know, still recording my album. I finished the third song. And I got like seven more. I think it's going to be ten total. So that's pretty exciting. And yeah, man, we're just chilling. We're just chilling. What else do we got going on? I have a trip to Vegas coming up really soon with my girlfriend. And uh, I'm meeting up with three of my friends from high school, like my closest friends. Gonna be a hell of a time. Let's get this. Evolve the garlic. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys like to gamble, man, but I'm so excited. I sent my friends a uh, little tutorial of how to play craps. Man, did we go for this again? We've had pretty bad luck. But we gotta try. We know we need to find that piccione. Yeah, if you're not familiar with this game and you're just tuning into this episode for the first time, or any of these vampire survivors, that black bird that we just got combines with another white bird and we've tried to combine it I don't know a few different times at this point and we just cannot seem to get both in the same playthrough I looked it up there's nothing special you have to do like once you unlock the black bird that we have right now you should be good to go and you should be able to get both the black bird and the white bird on the same playthrough but we just haven't had that luck I guess
Yeah, and then in Need for Speed, we were talking about movies, we were talking about the Terminator, we were talking about the future, we were talking about AI. <laughs> Let's see what else we can talk about. How about... How about comedy shit? You guys ever listen to Tenacious D? It's Jack Black, the actor, Jack Black, and one of his friends, Kyle Gass, who plays guitar. And, dude, like, it's really, really funny. Their first album is a masterpiece. Really, all their albums have, have some really good entries on them, but they'll throw in little skits and combine them with, um, you know, songs that are funny, like what would be a newer, like a Lonely Island. It's kind of like a newer comedy, or, or maybe an older than Tenacious D would be like um, Weird Al. Even though he pretty much only did parody songs, I don't think he did anything 100% original. But dude, Tenacious D is so goddamn funny. So you start with that album, okay? This is the regimen, if you want to know. Start with that album. Then you watch the HBO show. Okay. They had a show on HBO for like eight episodes. Groundbreaking. Didn't get enough credit. Didn't get enough uh, hits, views, whatever. After you watch that, you watch Tenacious D, The Pick of Destiny. Seriously, one of the goddamn funniest movies of all time. And I don't know why it didn't do well in the theaters. Um, maybe... The time that it came out, I don't know what, what it was against, like, but dude, that movie is so funny. And maybe you need the background of, like, the album and stuff in the HBO show. I really don't think you do, though. It's pretty self-contained. It's like a self-contained story, and it's just funny. So, maybe people aren't as big of Jack Black fans, but I find that, like, that's insane. How can you not like Jack Black? The dude's just naturally so charismatic and funny as hell, so, can't see that being the reason, I think maybe just bad luck or whatever, but, um, that's your homework, go out and watch that, and tell me that it's not funny as hell, you the knife, So Green Acres is just basically the first level again, but with a few new enemies. And later at night, I suppose. Yeah, man, Tenacious D is so good. Uh, what else? I'm going to sound like an insane person. I feel like everybody who hears about this and, um, you know, isn't into it themselves is like, whoa, dude, you seriously did that? But if you ever heard of the anime or the manga series One Piece, it's like one of the longest running animes, mangas of all time. And... Um, Right now, there's a thousand and fifty-five episodes that have been released, and I just fucking caught up like recently. A thousand and fifty-five episodes, man. I'm all I'm up to the day, and I'm waiting on bated breath every single week to catch that new one. Like that's how good this show is. I've seen a thousand plus episodes, and I still, I'm like, dude, I gotta. I'm jonesing for more, and um. At the point of the story where it's at now, everything is like finally coming together and culminating and like you can kind of see where the threads are getting tied. If you ever read the Song of Ice and Fire books, like uh, Game of Thrones and that shit, it's kind of like the same way I feel about that where, um, you know, the HBO show did its thing and I think it's pretty much wildly different than what the ending of the books were supposed to be. 
But I've kind of given up on the books actually ever getting an ending. I mean, it doesn't seem like we're any closer, and it's been, it's what, 2011 since uh, Dance with Dragons came out? So, you know, at the time I wasn't even watching the show, but I felt like I had to watch the show because otherwise it was going to get spoiled for me. So I watched the whole show, and um, I was kind of disappointed with the ending, to be honest. I think a lot of people were. But anyway, from the books, when you read through them, there's a lot of like subplots that weren't in uh, the show. And you're reading this and your brain is starting to be like, oh shit, and you're seeing how it all might possibly connect in the next book and then the next book and come together to end, but you don't quite have a full picture yet. There's like just enough strings left untied for you to be like, damn, I, I feel like I know what might happen. This is super exciting, but I, I want to see what happens. I need to see how this unfolds. And that's where One Piece is at, dude. It's like for Seriously, for about 500 episodes now, something like that, it has been just escalating and escalating, and each thing that happens leads into another bigger thing, and um, I don't know. I don't even know what to expect for this next part. I don't know if it's going to be the ending. I, I, f I have a feeling there's like 300 more episodes left, a minimum. The way that... Um, What's his name? Oda? Something? I think Oda is his last name. It's like one dude, one Japanese dude who writes all this shit and comes up with it. Probably got diagrams on his wall like that uh, Always Sunny in Philadelphia meme where he has all the fucking yarn attached and he's like, that? That's how he has this story plotted out in his head. Yeah. If you've never seen the show, don't be intimidated by the fact that it has over a thousand episodes. First of all, you have to watch it in Japanese, because the English voice acting is god-awful. Like, I don't ever like to just shit on people, but <sighs> compare it to the Japanese, man, and it is just not good. So, definitely watch it in the original Japanese language, okay? And you will, you will thank me. Um... Put those subtitles on, gives you a chance to read, stretch that brain, and give it a chance. Get through like five episodes, and if you still aren't into it, then, you know, you and I will not be friends. Because to me, this show is like one of the greatest shows that has ever been made. The level of character development the plot, the writing, the twists, the turns, the drama. Now, it does get drawn out. I'll be the first to admit. There are some pieces that maybe don't need to go on as long, but it's also what brings the emotion in. I mean, especially, I feel like the early episodes of One Piece were paced so perfectly. You get to know each character, what their deal is, what their vibe is, why they're doing what they're doing, who they're doing it for. The big baddie is introduced. You like slowly learn their deal and you're like, man, fuck this guy. And then it all builds up to like, yeah, kick this guy's ass. And then they kick his ass and it's awesome. And uh, you feel emotion, you cry, dude. I challenge you to not cry watching that show. Eventually you will. Unless you're a heartless bastard. Grab this chest. You will find a character that you relate to. You will find a character that makes you uh, laugh. A character that makes you be like, damn, that's pretty cool. I want to be like that. You will, you will enjoy the show. And don't think about the episode count. If anything, be glad there's over a thousand episodes. Because you will enjoy every single one, you piece of shit. <laughs> man, again we're not going to find the fucking white dove. Bullshit, man. It's 
Let's cut through these skeletons. There it is, bitch. We're finally gonna do this. Okay, pick up this. Pull the orbs towards us and start leveling up. We need to get both of them up to level 8. We'll grab that bracer, evolve the knife. Oh, this is going to turn out to be a sweet build now. If we could get that tarot card too that like adds a um, second bird to both the Pichone and the uh, Black Dove. I get the Laurel? No, we can't evolve it yet. Let's just increase our Umarola. That's right, we used to call this character. His name is like Gennaro. I never could remember his name. I called him Geppetto, like Pinocchio's father. What combines with uh, with the magic wand? We already have it. Okay. So we're free to pick up any weapon. Any weapon we want. Let's go fire wand. What does fire wand combine with? Fire wand combines with the spinach. We can scoop that up. We got a lot of uh, chickens on the ground. Four turkeys. Okay, this will be nice. the knife. Give me one second here. Okay, we've evolved the knife. Give me one more second. Alright. So we evolved the knife, baby. We got the black dove and the white dove. That shit's gonna combine real good. And I'm actually curious, man. We've been trying to get this thing for so many runs and we finally have it so let's make sure we don't die let's see what it actually combines into and what i like about it so far is that one goes clockwise and one goes counterclockwise so they actually cover a really nice area around your character and i'm into that nice coverage Let's keep upgrading. We need to get both of them up to level 8. We got a chest over here. A nice, nice little purple chest. Pick that up. We got a tarot card. So let's think about this. We are going to have the magic wand. So that could help us. Um, that dove. There's one that will give us... Nah, we didn't get it. Maybe we'll get it though before the end of the round. I think we should go with this, the critical hits for the knife, combined with the one that we already have, which gave us like a plus three. This is going to be a nice combo. Mm, we've done Torona's box. It, uh, I wasn't impressed. Unless we have a reason to get that, I don't think I'll usually be picking that up. Maybe it combines later into like an awesome build or something, but right now it doesn't make a ton of sense for us. Let's go with the Piccione, get that to level 8. Go with the garlic, about time we evolve that thing. Let's get the spinach. Piccione. I don't know how it's actually pronounced. I don't 
want to believe that it's peach one because that's fucking stupid. It's a white dove. And they called it peach one. It has to be peach one. Maybe it's like an actual species of bird and I'm a dumbass and I just don't know. Get this mouse off the screen too. But yeah, we're we're having a pretty great run right now. And we're not even at full power. This isn't even off final form. This is literally like baby mode right now. Uh, we don't want to pick up anything because we don't know. Basically what's going to happen is our two birds are going to combine. And then we're going to free up a weapon slot. So the weapon slot that we free up, we need to make sure that um, the passive item that we grab complements it and we'll actually combine it. We can't just grab whatever willy nilly, right? We gotta be a little calculated still. Let's get the bracer. I feel like the speed is going to help us. If we can throw the knives even faster, we're getting criticals and shit. Look at that, they even shoot down the, the projectiles from the enemies. The knife is looking good. Yeah, let me know what you guys think, man. Have you played this game before? Are you interested in it? Is it interesting to watch? I feel like it. it is. It's like eye candy. All this crazy stuff is happening. It's kind of relaxing. All the knives going off remind me of, like, hard rain. Which, by the way, if you've never heard, A Hard Rain is Gonna Fall by Bob Dylan. As soon as this video is over, dude, throw that shit in your ears. A Hard Rain is Gonna Fall by Bob Dylan. It's a beautiful song. There's like a mysticism to it. Like, what is this talking about? I think it's like a metaphor for the... Uh, you know, I have my interpretation of it but I don't want to um, put that in your head you should listen to the song fresh I don't want to ruin it for anybody if they disagree with what my interpretation is but it's a really good song man yeah so what do we upgrade? the garlic scoop that up the ebony wings to eight and see if we can combine our freaking piccione and we are destroying the enemies right now Hopefully the game audio isn't like blaringly loud and you can still kind of hear what I'm saying. I've had some audio issues the past few days and just trying shit out and not realizing that it sounded horrible, but I think I've got it dialed in at this point. We're just chilling, man. We're having a good time. Nice, relaxing session. Hanging out together. And killing some fucking vampire slaves, man. They're trying to kill humanity and kill us. And guess what? We're not into that. The Undead Army? Go away, bro. 
Leave us alone, bro. Vampires are actually pretty cool. Like, just the lore of them. It's really interesting. Like, monster. Ooh, damn. We got a, uh, whatever the fuck, full power chest. What, what, what do you call this? Big luck. Okay, I think we just evolved the magic wand. Evolved magic wand. Base speed up by 10%. Cooldown reduced by 8.0%. Base damage up by 10%. And base damage up by 10. That's pretty nice. Get back into the game here. I had a crazy dream last night. I feel like I don't normally remember my dreams, but this one I remember. It was like a zombie dream. And the world had been totally overtaken. It was like Walking Dead type shit. And um, I was with a group. And we were like stuck in a confined space and these zombies were coming for us. And it was like really clear that we were going to have to fight them to survive. Like we were just stuck in a bad spot. And I had like a stick. <laughs> that was my big weapon to fight the fucking zombies with. And I was like shitting myself. Because I just felt in the dream. You know when you're in a dream, like when you try and run and you just can't. And the harder you try to run, it just feels like you're stuck in the mud. That's how it felt with this stick. Like I was trying to smack these zombies and I just was so weak. I was like, no, no. And, uh,. But I was still able to, like, kind of hold them off, but I wasn't... I understood that I wasn't doing anything to them. And so, I started, like, running away through the doors and shit, and, like, backwards, and they were just barely not biting me. And then I woke up. So I don't know what that means. If I'm stressed, I'm just, like, been thinking about zombies lately. I feel like that's the thing people do, is they try and put, like, meaning on all their dreams. Sometimes I think dreams are just shitty and dumb and don't have a meaning. But then other times it seems like dreams are like trying to tell you something. I don't know man. Maybe it's somewhere in between. And all of a sudden, this map has like a shit ton of enemies on it, so... We can go for the Let's grab the clover. Yeah. The clover combines with the cross. So let's see if we can find the cross. Either on the map or in the menu. Okay, we evolved it. What is this called? The evolution. Bandolier. Union of Ebony Wings and Pichone. Um, let's take a look and see if this evolves further. I don't know if you guys have noticed, if you have an iPhone or not, but I feel like um, the keyboard has just started getting shittier ever since, I don't know, maybe a year and a half ago, two years. I feel like it just doesn't predict like it used to, man. I just think the same. Okay, it does not evolve any further. At least that I could find in two seconds. Oh, what was it that combined? Oh, yeah, yeah, we're looking for the cross. That will be our last weapon if we can get it. I 
kind of forgot what we were talking about. Get the bracer and get that bra the uh, base speed of our knives flying out a little bit higher. I think that's kind of our main damage dealer right now. Oh, that bird's pretty sweet. Okay. Hmm. We could get the duplicator too, and then possibly get the lightning ring. Gives us more projectiles. I'm kind of leaning towards that. Let's just get it. We could either get the cross or the lightning ring now. That's what we're looking for. Yeah, man. I feel like life is pretty crazy. We're like all doing our thing. You know, everybody's doing their fucking thing at the same time. Oh, these are all really good cards. Fire Wand. Healing is doubled. Uh, I think this is the best one. We're going to get a counterpart for our bird. And it might be a powered up counterpart. Look at that. We have three birds now. Ooh, and we can continue to level up Vandalier. Dude. Fuck yeah. Yeah, you ever just like driving in your car or in the airport or, you know, whatever. And um, you just realize like, wow, all these people around me, all these people in their cars, all these people flying into God knows where, they're all living their lives too. And like, what's their story? How are we both in the same place right now at the same time? You know, of all the places to be on the fucking planet. Even this, like... Someone's watching my stream at the same time that I'm streaming. Like, our, our, <laughs> all of my decisions and all of your decisions have led us right to this moment. The hell, dude. It's crazy. What are the odds of that? And then it's just a moment and then it passes. Like two kindred spirits passing briefly in the night. No, what is it? It's like a poem. It's a metaphor about kindred spirits. And the metaphor is like like two ships passing briefly in the night. That's what it is. Like imagine you're on this open ocean. It's dark. You can't see a damn thing. Right? And the waves are crashing around you. And suddenly you come across another ship in the night. Who's going through the same thing. And you pass briefly and... That's it. Just pass. And like, I feel like that's a really powerful imagery. It makes you feel some shit. You don't even know what you're feeling, but it makes you feel something. It makes me feel something. And that's like what a lot of encounters in life are, man. We're just two ships passing briefly in the night. The lifespan of our lives. It's hard to cherish every single fucking moment because if you did, you'd be like a freak. Be crying every every two seconds and being like, "Life is so beautiful," and no, you wouldn't be able to like be taken seriously. 
but it really is it's beautiful if you can think about it in that way you're like hey man this is the moment you're never getting it back and these people around you i don't know something magical about that can't quite put my finger on it Yeah, it's um, kind of interesting how things work out like that. Like, you ever meet somebody that just instantly makes you feel good? They just like have this energy about them. And they just make you feel like, fuck yeah. Let's hang out, let's do shit. That's the kind of energy you should like strive to have if you can know conjure that up I think being a positive person and um, instilling that kind of like natural curiosity and wonder in people is like a superpower dude and if you can do that then you're doing a good thing make it literally every situation better By the way, our character is insane right now. try and evolve. Well, eventually we'll evolve the cross. We only have four minutes left. This is kind of crazy. We need to um, find some more chests and level up here. I'm surprised we aren't already at max level. So, we should also try and find a section where we can kind of get death stuck on like a corner or whatever I haven't now that I think about it I haven't seen any scenery like that in this level it's just been kind of like totally open and maybe this level doesn't have it throwing so many knives dude imagine throwing knives this fast in real life like what would you look, you look like a freak <laughs> like at what speed does something intimidating just become funny You're like what's a really intimidating thing someone could do like crack their knuckles at you like at what speed of cracking your knuckles it goes from like whoa to like this is ridiculous and this dude's a clown like maybe if someone could do a bunch of push-ups that would be intimidating but if they were doing the push-ups like really fucking fast and that's funny. Isn't it weird, dude, how comedy works? What the fuck is comedy? What makes something funny? Like, why is that image so goddamn funny to me? I'm just doing push-ups at the speed of light. Trying to intimidate you, but actually looking dumb. Okay, let's see if we can get one more chest to drop for us. The 
base damage up. The Reapers are coming soon, and I'm not really seeing anything that we're going to be able to kind of like get them stuck on. But we'll probably just die at 30 minutes. It is what it is. Anything else on the map? Okay, we got some shit over here. I'm trying to keep my eyes open for like arrows that will point to a chest, but uh, it's really hard to see anything in this. Let's see if we can grab this um, money fever thing. We got 35 more seconds. And we'll do the best we can here. We have a really good weapon for this. I can tell this is a difficult wep er, um, level. But we got a really good build, so we're able to handle it. Okay. We can revive and like try and do something, but ah. Uh. Yeah, that's what happens at 30 minutes. Death just comes and instant kills you. I've been able to get him stuck. I don't remember what episode it was. I think it was one of the ones in the library. We got him stuck on like a table and a chair. And then by the end of it, we had I think five Grim Reapers. That I think they show up every minute. There's a new one that shows up. So we made it five extra minutes into uh, the 30 minute, after the 30 minute segment. And dude, it was crazy. But... Didn't quite happen this time. Has to be a way to kill them. I'm sure that there's a way. Because there's achievements that are like survive for 31 minutes or 35 minutes. We'll figure it out. Might need to unlock a few more weapons, but we'll get there. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. I think that's going to be the end of this episode. And uh, you have a good night, man. See you.